you will most likely agree that the disaster at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant that occurred on April 26, 1986 is a terrible tragedy. It affected not only the lives of the inhabitants of Ukraine, but also many neighboring countries. To this day, we reap the fruits of that terrible mistake. However, the given catastrophe has led the scientific world to the next discovery in the field of geology and mineralogy. Have you ever heard of Chernobylite? That's how the researchers called the mineral that formed inside the sarcophagus after the explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. It is difficult to say whether such a mineral is possible to form under other conditions without the presence of a nuclear explosion. Chernobylite is an alloy of nuclear fuel, concrete, sand and many other constituents. At the moment, it is believed that such minerals do not occur in nature. And they can be formed only thanks to man. About this mineral not very much is known. Having analyzed the findings found in the sarcophagus, the researchers came to the conclusion that its melting point is more than 1600 degrees Celsius. For example, the melting temperature of the lava-like mass is about 1200 degrees. The structure of this mineral is very interesting, it is a dipyramidal crystals of quite different sizes from 5 to 500 microns. Moreover, the formation of such a mineral requires such a high temperature to last at least 3 hours. There are practically no pictures of this unique mineral on the net. When it was taken, the scientific world called it one of the most dangerous pictures in the world. There is another name for this phenomenon, corium. Chernobylite is a product of the decay of the reactor core. It looks like a black, lava-like glassy substance. Scientists believe that in the past it was a nuclear substance. This photo was taken in 1996, a decade after the terrible disaster. The researchers called this thing the elephant's foot. By that time, it had cooled down and radiation levels had fallen dramatically, but it was still deadly anyone staying near it for more than 10 minutes was in danger of dying from a maximum dose of radiation. It is also interesting that this photo was taken with a mirror because the radiation level around the mineral was so high that it illuminated any film and the pictures always showed a white spot. The mineral is a crystalline form of zirconium orthosilicate with a huge content of solid uranium. It is hard to say how useful this stuff can be to modern industry. However, its mere existence suggests that we are far from knowing everything about minerals who knows what other substances can be produced by a nuclear explosion. As a result of these explosions, cooling ceased the dehydration of the reactor core, led to a sharp increase in power and a spike in temperatures. The accident at the Chernobyl power plant went into a severe phase, which is unofficially called a reactor core meltdown. International nuclear safety organizations do not recognize this term, but it is nevertheless used to describe the uncontrollable events that occur at an emergency nuclear power plant if the fuel elements there begin to melt. In the history of nuclear power, reactor core meltdowns have occurred five times during an accident at Unit 2 of the Three Mile Island power plant in the United States in 1979, at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, and three times at the Fukushima nuclear power plant in Japan in 2011. To protect against melt flow, a concrete sump with metal pipes for water cooling was installed under the reactor. However, the flow of molten Chernobyl stopped in the barbitage pool, and the concrete pan was of no use. In May 1986 the cleanup workers in the fourth unit discovered a source of high radiation during a survey of the premises the Kurzich 3 device, which measures the intensity of the gamma fields and is designed for 3000 x-rays per hour, went off scale and failed. According to the recollections of one of the liquidators, research engineer Georgi Popkov, later a child's horse on wheels with a measuring sensor on it was pushed into one of the suspicious rooms where the ordinary apparatus was going off scale. The device showed 14,500 x-rays per hour. Laboratory tests showed that there was no lead in this formation. It contained about 10% uranium, a full set of nuclear fuel radionuclides, a melt of silicon dioxide, and some other elements. Such a melt is otherwise known as corium, from the English word for core, because it is formed as a result of reactor core melt. Corium was formed during the Three Mile Island reactor accident, it was also formed during the accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Even to this day, Unit 4 remains the site of the world's largest accumulation of lava-like fusion, which is not found in the natural environment. Elephant's Leg, whose initial mass was estimated at 11 tons, is only the largest formation of corium in the reactor area, molten Chernobylite formed drops, stalactites and stalagmites with varying radioactivity, which usually rarely exceeded 600 to 700 rongen per hour. But back to the elephant foot. More than 40 years have passed since the Chernobyl nuclear power plant was built. 
Of these, for 32 years there has been no thorough inspection and repair of the plant's structure at all. The time and consequences of the accident may have caused the concrete foundation to crack. Some experts believe that the sarcophagus and shelter too have created additional pressure on the ground around Unit 4, and in the future the foundations may simply collapse. As a result, the elephant foot and other formations made of Chernobylite will fail, penetrate into the soil, and eventually begin to wash out, poisoning, first of all, the underground water sources. However, other experts are skeptical about this version, believing that the concrete foundation and the surviving metal structures of the fourth power unit are sufficiently reliable and will not allow the corium to penetrate into the soil. In the 1990s, researchers published a report on the post-accident condition of Unit 4 of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, which stated that the Chernobylite fills should be impregnated with neutron-absorbing solutions and covered. This was supposed to prevent the elephant foot and other blobs from turning into dust, the main source of radiation contamination at Chernobyl. Later, however, Ukrainian researchers announced that treatment with the solutions would do nothing and, at worst, would even lead to loss of control over the neutron flux. In addition, these measures will still not prevent the formation of radioactive dust. For this reason, Shelter 2 is seen as the most reliable way of protection against the spread of radioactive elements from the fourth unit. Scientists intend to determine the further fate of the lava light fuel containing materials in the Chernobyl NPP using the calculation analytical method. If you were interested, thank the author by putting a like. And also do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss the outputs of even more interesting videos of my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking on the bell and share this video with your friends. What else interesting can you add to this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.